Howdy folks! I am so excited to show you my new base design. I can honestly tell you that in the last 87 years of playing Rust online, this is the best base design for a garage I've ever made. What makes it so special? Well, let me tell you. So we've got a door here, and I already know you're going to say, oh, Yafo Noob, I've seen a million videos of automatic opening garage doors. That's no problem at all. Yeah, well, this one automatically opens when you want to leave, automatically closes once you're gone, automatically opens once you come back, and automatically closes once you come in. The whole entire thing is automated. How can that be? Not from this switch. That's just the lights. It's from this switch right there. Can you believe this? Warning. Door systems are active. Woo! <laughs> Warning, door systems are active. See that laser beam right there? We're going to break that laser. Warning, it's going to automatically open up the door. There might be some door campers outside. That's okay. We've got Warning, the double shotgun door trap. Systems are active. Okay, we can stop that. So, from here, you can reach the switches. Look at this. You can reach everything without even having to leave your vehicle. So, now that it's active, we look back there at the door and watch this. If we start to back up, we break that laser. And look at this, we're outside. As we come close to the garage, it automatically opens up. Oops. The vehicle will automatically park itself because of the fact that I've got this modular lift in here. Plenty of room to work on your vehicle like this. And, and, check this out. There's enough room in here for a four module car. You don't have to have just this small car. You can have the big four-module car in here. So this one is a four-module car. I've got the extra storage in the front, and I've got a camper in the back, which takes up two spots. One of the nice things about the camper, which you probably already know, is that you can use it as a sleeping bag. You can respawn anywhere that you want. So there you go. One, two, three. This is a four-module car. A little bit cramped when you got the four module car when you want to get over to this side right here. So, here we go. You ready? Let's just try it one more time. Show you how it works. From in here, you can turn it on if you want to. You can shut it off if you want to. That way, there's no accidental uh, triggering of your door. I think we crashed into our other car. I guess I didn't get far enough away from it. Okay. There we go. There we go. And jump out. And look at this. It'll automatically park itself because of the modular lift. So, right now I've got it powered by this uh, windmill up there, right? Wind turbine, I mean. But you can power this with a generator, with solar panels. Uh, it really doesn't take up that much room or that much power to be honest. So I'm going to show, I'm going to make a, a little tutorial video and just show how easy this is to make. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click subscribe. And I'm going to be uploading a lot of really cool Rust videos that uh, deal with electricity and glitches and making cool bases and some guests and, uh, you know, etc, etc. Regular YouTube stuff. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. I hope that you guys have a great night. Warning, door systems and are active. Let me know what you think about this. Warning, door systems are active.